Hi, this is Amber Hughes, and we are here today with Chancellor DiPaolo um, for the Seahawk and Teal TV. Hi, Chancellor. How are you? I'm fine, Amber. How are you this morning? I'm good. All right. So I'm a senior, and um, I know that I'm getting a little bit of senioritis, anxious about leaving, but eager to start my new life. So um, is that kind of how you're, are you getting senioritis right now? <laughs> I never thought of it in exactly <laughs> that way, Amber, but, but yeah, I guess I am. It's, a, it's an odd feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and you've probably been here four years. Mm -hmm. I've been here eight, so wow. double it, uh, maybe. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. What do you think is your biggest achievement as UNCW Chancellor? Well, I, I, I know what I think has changed the uh, campus most in, mm -hmm. in my time here, and that is the new housing. Uh, we went into that very deliberately, uh, knowing that it would have a lot of very positive results. Uh, and it exceeded our expectations, I think. It's transformed the campus. Uh, I remember eight years ago, uh, this was very much a, a ghost town on weekends, and it's not anymore. Uh, students are here 24-7. It's much more vibrant. And beyond anything else, I attribute that to almost doubling the number of beds on campus and making this much more of a residential campus. Um, are you talking about, like, the... Seahawk Landing and... Landing the and the Village and the yeah. Crossing, yeah. Um, is there anything that you regret, wish that you could do over as your time as Chancellor? Hmm. You know, there are so many things. You look back on it and you say, well, you know, maybe we should have done more of this or less of that or burned farther on, uh, on this road, but no real regrets. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite UNCW memory? Like 10 years from now, what are you going to look back on and just remember? I, I'm not sure if I can name any one thing. Uh, you know, there's so many things I love, but it's, this is so hard to, de to describe to people. It's the feel of this campus. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes I just walk across campus, and it happened to me yesterday. I was walking across campus, and um, the bell tower was ringing. Uh, it was a beautiful day, spring day. The dogwoods were out. There was Spanish moss on the dogwoods. Uh, there were students all over. The sun was shining. Uh, and there's an energy here that I've never felt anyplace else. Uh, I will miss that. And you said you're going to be traveling this fall, right? Well, you know, we're planning <laughs> a lot of travel. Yeah. Uh, I'm, you know, n no specific trips this fall except for a real life change in some ways. Uh, yeah. We, uh, we want to uh, leave Wilmington uh, for at least fall semester mm -hmm. uh, and uh, get out of the next chance's hair. Uh, I think that's <laughs> important. Yeah. Uh, and so we have a, a place up in uh, the mountains in Canada oh, that wow. we've gone to vacation. And we're just going to spend time there um, because I think it would, be, it would feel odd to wake up in Wilmington the day after retirement and not just come in <laughs> to work. So yeah. I will go to some place where we've only been on vacation, and, and I think that will be uh, the right thing for us to do and um, speak French for several months and, and live a very different life. Um, so are you going to get another house in Wilmington? Do well, you know, we, we're not sure exactly how that will work out, but uh, Canada uh, and uh, this life change is, is first on our agenda. <laughs> uh, and uh, I can tell you those kayaks and those bicycles are calling to me sometimes <laughs> nowadays. All right, speaking of the Chancellor's House, what's the benefit you're going to miss the most? Mm. I'm going to miss Aramark uh, <laughs> cooking a lot of meals for me. I can tell you that, uh, especially cutting fruit up, yeah. you know, when they do that at, at uh, all the events. Um, uh, the house is so beautiful. It's such a privilege to live there and to, be, uh, to have been part of saving that house and, and uh, uh, normal people don't get to live in a house like that, so I'll, mm -hmm. I'll always remember that. That's right. You had a big deal to do with the renovation of right. the mansion, right? Yeah, and, and we worked with the Keenan's decorator yeah. he, who came out of retirement to uh, renovate and redecorate that house and got to look at all of the old photographs and old film footage that they took as home movies and, and really worked to bring it back to its original state. The, old, the original colors and things mm -hmm. like that. So that was a great deal of fun. All right, let's talk about athletics a little bit. How do you feel you're leaving the athletic program? I think the athletic program is in good shape. Uh, and, and I was determined 
uh, to leave it in good shape. Mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy Bass is doing a great job as yeah. athletic director. He's changed things uh, in the few months that he's been here. Uh, I think he's going to be here for the long term, I hope so, mm -hmm. uh, and really move things in a very positive direction. Uh, we have two great new basketball coaches, both men's and women's, um, and all the other coaches are, are doing uh, terrific jobs. Um, uh, women's tennis just won uh, national sportsman of the, uh, of I'm not sure what period of time it was, a month or something, mm -hmm. um, for the whole country last week. Um, that's a tremendous achievement for those women. And our swimming. <laughs> our swimming team, our track team. I mean, we, yeah. we're winning all kinds of competitions. Uh, Josh Brock in golf the other day set a school record and matched a school record. And, and that's just uh, wonderful for us. I want to see Trask packed again. Yeah. Um, and in your time here, you've had three ADs? Uh, I did. Uh, and, but I think things have stabilized yeah. now. Uh, and we're on the right track. What do you think the reason for you know that instability of athletic director was? There were there were three different reasons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you know it had to do with fit and people, um, but I don't know if you've talked to Jimmy Bass yet. Mm -hmm. um, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Very solid.